another edition of the Naked News, and you know, there I am, you know, pretty much. That's what it looks like, I mean, that's YouTube, I can't possibly show you everything, you know, I don't know. Anyways, it's Dude's Nude, and you know, that's what I look like, just so you know. Nude or not nude, that's what it looks like. You know, I don't know, what do you think, do I look like you know, real or anything? Anyway, that's what it looks like. Okay, the news today is always the same news. Pretty much the same news every day. You're on probation. Your whole lifetime, you're on probation. And on probation, well, the first thing you learned is, well, I don't know. You went to preschool, pre-kindergarten, and then kindergarten. Then you learned to love people at school. It was then after that, then it was, you know, I don't know, but I think by the fourth grade, all that lovey-dovey stuff is beaten out of you. Bullies on the playground beat it out of you, whatever you taught when you're four. By the time you're eight, that's all changed, and you learn that those people that, you know, you were trained by that teacher to consider I don't know, your brothers and sisters, by the time you're eight, they're not. So, what do you want to tell yourself? On probationary planet Earth. It is, it's probation. You're supposed to be an angel. Everybody on the planet is supposed to be an angel. The reason that you're here on prison planet is because you're not good enough in whatever ways there are to be in a heavenly world. And that's where we get from consciousness researcher David R. Hawkins. On probation. You're not supposed to eat meat, and you're not supposed to drink booze, and you're not supposed to be cruel to other people. Is that so hard? There's so many of you who have got the disease, the mental disease of infantilism. You're adults. But you don't act like it. You act like... Well... What you act like is an adult. Mind parasites. pain body. That's what Eckhart Tolle calls people who are possessed by evil.
Eckhart Tolle talked about the pain body and said some people have got exceptionally heavy pain bodies. But then he talked about, I think it was his, it was either his aunt or his mother-in-law. And the great Eckhart Tolle, one of the great spiritual teachers of our age, author of The Power of Now, Stillness Speaks, A New Earth. He was on Oprah, unprecedented, five days in a row. She thought he was important for America and for the world. Anyways, he told the story about this woman. It was either his aunt or his mother-in-law. Or his mother-in-law's aunt or his aunt's mother-in-law. Anyways, he spent some time with her a weekend. And, you know, most people are uplifted by spiritual teachers being in the presence of them. Not this lady. No. You know, he didn't use the exact words, but if I translate exactly what he actually wants to say without being censored, he wants to tell you that that woman is a class A devil. Devil means do evil. And, you know, in the presence of the spiritual teacher, she didn't stop being evil. Satan did not stop being evil in the presence of Jesus Christ. So it does say that there are people who are evil. And even in the presence of great these people remain vicious, violent, and small-minded. So People are vicious and violent and small-minded when they eat meat. <clears throat> I can't help you out. I'm under vicious, violent attack by who? By who? By Satan himself. Because people who are allies of Satan, or Lucifer, Luciferian people. Sorry, you're devil worshippers, Becky. I can't help you out. You worship the devil, you worship your own debt. And even worse... You worship what? Dancing with the devil in hell. You and all the flames and flickerings and all, everything else. You dancing with the devil in hell. You dancing. You in hell with all that flames. You see it at, you know, all those shows on the Super Bowl. Halftime show, blah, 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 blah. That means what? It means you don't want to talk about Super Bowl. You don't want to talk about all the flames. And you don't want to talk about that place that they're really showing you. Where it really, 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 really is. Where, you know. I can't help you with it. That's where you're going. You meat eaters, you orcs from Lord of the Rings. Eating pork. Cannibals. I can't help you out. I don't know. What do you want to tell me? Adrenochrome. I can't help you out in the end. You meat eaters are I'm fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. You fucked yourself really good. I can't help you out. If you're eating meat, you're going to the lake of fire and you're never getting out. If you hunt so you can have meat. Sorry, you don't need to do that. You don't. You make up some fucking story. They used to do it and, you know, they got all drunk and they fucked and they produced my mama. And whatever, blah, 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 all your fucking stories, you go fuck off. You go fuck off with your fucking stories. You go fuck off. You go fuck off with your lies about why you need to go around killing animals for food. You go fuck off, Beckys. You go fuck off. You go fuck off and you go fuck off some more with your stupid fucking stories. And you're fucking checked out of your fucking brain. And you got no fucking heart, you evil fucking shit things. You go fuck off, packies. You go packy up all your fucking shit. And then you look at it all and you realize over and over again it is not going with you, packy. It ain't, packy. The baconators ain't going with you neither because you're going to be the baconators next thing you know. A lake of fire. Can't help you out. Some people are incorrigibly evil. 
it's your horrible karma insisting on having animals to eat that's a horrific karma it's a horrific karma for your civilization to hide all the slaughter of animals it's fucking bullshit how come I got a huge warning label I don't know how come how come I got a huge warning label How come I got a huge warning label when it comes to cigarette? Why? Why is it that there's no warning labels on meat? About the horrific story of what happens to all those animals in the factory farms and the slaughterhouses. Why isn't there a warning label in the whole meat section? at the grocery store why isn't there a huge video screen in the meat section constantly playing the slaughter of animals why so that you actually see what it is that you're eating you're eating the slaughterhouse but it's horrific what you insist on have happening so that you can have your hamburger I don't think anybody really understands. Do you? Do you really understand English? So many people pretend to understand English. Some people pretend so well that they can't understand. Again, they can't, they can't, they can't. Empirical evidence says they can't understand English. Can't. Whereas it won't. Certain things in English you won't understand on purpose because it goes against your cherished things, your needful things like meat. That's people attacking me. That's attacking. That's people attacking me. People's vicious violence. People like you, meat eater. Yeah, people, because by the time you figured it out, Brent Beeson the Devil is talking again. Listen to his channel. Brent Beeson the Devil. I can't help you out. That's who attacks me, Brent Beeson the Devil. Beeson. That's what he chose as his name. Be sin. A man who wants to be sin. Brent be sin. The devil. What's Brent Beeson's real name? Truck balls. Chicken shit. Fuck face. Shit for brains. Who is Brent Beeson the devil? The answer is always in the question. Brent Beeson is Satan. Mind parasites. Ego mind is a mind parasite. It's not attached to soul. It's edging God out. Ego. E G O. Edging God out. What's God? Soul. What's soul? Love. 
edging God out is edging love out. What's left without love? Devils do evils. People without love do evil. And on probationary planet, Alex Jones said, prison planet. David R. Hawkins said, it's a purgatorial realm, earth. Purgatory, the Roman Catholic is going to say, a place where people go, or they got a purgatory, purgatory. They got to purge themselves of their evils. Not get new evils like learning to eat meat and drink booze because that's what your family always did. That's what your neighbors always did. That's what the ancestors always did. Drink booze and kill animals and have a big meat feast. That's no reason to continue these evil practices because it was done in the past. That's no reason to continue doing evil because it was always done. Adult people need to look at the world with fresh adult eyes in 2022. And look at the evils of this fucking civilization and call out the evil and stand in truth and say this civilization is evil permanent homelessness permanent third world countries permanent increasing tax bill on the middle class people and increasingly no services for the poorest people and increasingly, more and more, it becomes apparent that the rich trillionaires, like Prince Andrew, are above the law, and they can go around terrorizing people, murdering children, and drinking their blood, adrenochrome. And get away with it, Prince Andrew is still on the loose, even when his partner, Ghislaine Maxwell, was found guilty. Above the law, the prince. In 2022, our supposed advanced civilization, where Julian Assange is still being locked up for telling you that the government spies on you when he used WikiLeaks. He's still being punished for that by these evil fucking people. There's no civilization on planet Earth. Well, as long as Prince Andrew is walking around a free man, there is zero civilization on planet Earth. Ergo, there is not a legitimate government on planet Earth in a political science kind of way. Donald Trump said during his election campaign, it's rigged, folks, talking about the elections. There is no democracy here. There's no democracy, there's no civilization, and Prince Andrew wanders around free. And what happened? What happened? Epstein's Island, and we still don't know. Why? Where's the FBI? Where's Scotland Yard? Where's the RCMP? Where? Clearly, they don't exist. They don't exist. They let Prince Andrew run around free. There is no police force. There is no Interpol. There is nothing but an illusion that there's a civilization there. There ain't. What you have right now is you wandering around in your mind looking at all this mind stuff that appears to be physical, but it's not. It's not. It's all quantum. 
which means it's all affected somehow by you looking at it, observer effect, all these strange words from physics in high school that you don't really understand. It's a good thing, because even the best minds, like maybe Werner Heisenberg, he said, if you think you understand quantum physics, you don't understand quantum physics. He said, it's inexplicable. And that's the nature of our dreamlike reality. Anyways, to make a long story short, if you're still eating meat and still drinking booze and doing cocaine, you're on the one-way train to the lake of fire where you're going to burn forever for being evil. Maybe it would behoove you today to throw away your bottles of booze and stop buying meat. Maybe it would behoove you. It's a strange English word, not used very much, but benefit you. I'm not kidding. It would benefit you enormously to stop drinking and stop buying meat. There's nothing else I need to tell you because Brent Beeson, the devil, wants to let you know he's still around. There's nothing else I can tell you. He's still around and he's still going to convince you that meat tastes good and don't fucking matter. Then the smell, you know, the neighbors, the neighbors are cooking it. Well, it doesn't matter. They already slaughtered the cow. They took the ass. You took the other ass cheek. Don't listen to them fucking devils because they're everywhere. Remember to do your positive affirmation for your heart chakra. I am the truth. I am the truth. I am the truth. You keep putting that into your heart chakra every day, as many times as you could remember. You do Tarzan. I am the truth. I am the truth. I am the truth. I am the truth. And you keep doing that. Because you're going to learn what's truth and what's false. You're going to learn. You keep telling your heart chakra. Because your heart chakra. And you keep dropping out of your head and into your heart. For every decision that you need to make. Every decision. Whatever you do. Whatever wherever you ever used to be. Just tap yourself there. And say no. Nope. No monkey mind. No. Heart leads. Heart courage is in my heart. Bullshit and fuck facery is in the fucking head. Lead with your heart. I am the truth. I am the truth. And your heart becomes the truth and you become the truth. And you walk away from eating meat and drinking booze and associating with devils. And thinking devilry is somehow cute and funny. Something to be gloating about misfortune of others, gloating about the misfortune of others, causing misfortune to others, getting paid to cause horrible, horrible to people, choosing to have a career of being a devil. <laughs>